The surgery is performed with the patient positioned on the side. An X-ray is taken of the spine to show the location of the operative disc space. The skin is marked at this location to indicate the site of the side incision. A separate small incision is first made toward the back. The surgeon uses his or her finger through this incision to feel the space in the side through which the instruments will pass. The finger will also guide tubular dilators into safe position. As the tubes are advanced through the muscle on the side of the vertebrae, or the psoas muscle, X-rays and neurovision nerve monitoring help to guide them to the appropriate spot on the spine and away from nearby nerves. Neurovision is a technologically advanced EMG system that assists the surgeon with safe surgical access and implant placement by monitoring nerve activity through the surgical procedure. Once the tubes are in place, a tissue retractor, called the Maxess retractor, is advanced over them, locked to the surgical table, and held open to provide lighted visibility and instrument access to the disc space. With the intervertebral disc now visible and accessible, the surgeon then removes the intervertebral disc and prepares the disc space for fusion. With the disc space prepared, the surgeon then places a large stabilizing implant into the empty disc space to restore the proper disc height and to support the loads put on that spinal segment. Once the intervertebral implant is in position, the retractor is removed and final confirmation x-rays are taken. The small skin incisions are closed with a few stitches and a bandage. 